Hey guys, I just wanted to show you my ANET A8 and the uh, upgrades I recommend you do for it. First I've got the spool holder. And then uh, I put a Flexion extruder back here. That way I could print with the flexible filament. And uh, I've got it set up through a Bowden. Now to do that, I, I printed this, uh, this adapter to plug the Bowden into. And you can find that that's actually for the CR10. But it's, uh, it's pretty universal. And then I upgraded the uh, LCD to the one that's on the A6. I, I like the knob better than the uh, push buttons that come on the A8. And then I extended the uh, micro SD slot right here. It just it plugs into the uh, slot on the motherboard and just extends it. Now I've got the support braces where the frame is acrylic. So that takes all the wobble out of it. It's pretty sturdy. And then I did uh, the uh, wire chains on the x-axis and the y-axis. I also had to do this for the z-axis where the uh, where the rods didn't really line up just right and it would bind so that freed that up. And then I've got the uh, E3D V6 hot end. I put an LED light in there. I uh, printed the carriage off uh, Thingiverse. And I've got the uh, auto level sensor there. I put the uh, belt, tensor belt tensioners on. It's the Y axis belt tensioner. And then I've got the X axis belt tensioner. See, I did the camera mount for the webcam. And I did that because I've got a uh, Raspberry Pi 3 back here running Octoprint. And I've also done the MOSFETs. One for the uh, hot end and one for the bed. And I also upgraded the uh, power supply to the 360 watt power supply. And uh, with the power upgrades I, I also did direct solder the uh, the wires to the bed so that should take care of all of the, the safety issues as well but let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks